Okay, next job on the list is to put a ball valve into the inlet and the outlet of the toilet on the Caribbean 2300. Now, thanks to someone whose name I don't have on me, who's already done this, their 2300. When I post this on the Facebook group for 2300 owners, I'll make sure I mention their name, so sorry, mate. Um, I've copied all the text out and the diagrams of what they've done and how they did it so I can get this right. But ultimately, to start with, I've got to start by stripping out the inlet and outlet hoses. And then I've got to take those skin fittings out and I've got new skin fittings to put in. And I think I've got all the parts I need. Time will tell. So I think in a pretty confined space, I'm in for an afternoon of um, uh, losing a bit of skin off of the knuckles. More than I lost off by crashing my bike in recent weeks. And we'll see how we go in cleaning all this up. Apologies for how disgusting this looks at the moment. Poor boat hasn't been used in six months, but we'll get there. Okay, well, taking the toilet out, trying to get these nuts off these skin fittings, and I don't have a tool that can do it, so I think I'm gonna have to go out and get some sort of um, spanner that will work in this space, which I will go and do shortly. Um, looks like the one on the right's 32 mil, the one on the left's about 53, 54, something like that. Um, so I have to get some sort of flange nut wrench of some sort to get these off or a tall socket or, or something similar. So um, we'll see how we go. Okay, Friday afternoon. The toilet and putting these seacocks in. We're getting there. But what a job that's been. Getting those skin fittings out was a job and a half. One of those things where you think, man, have I bitten off more than I can chew here? Ended up having to grind the nuts to cut them to get them open. There's a whole lot of two-pack epoxy holding the skin fittings in, which thankfully Matt Goshen from Sylvania Marina let me know that after I put a shout out on Facebook and said, hey, Brains Trust, help me out here. What do you suggest? Um, to put a heat gun on them to soften the epoxy and then belt them out with a hammer. And after a good few solid blows with a hammer, out they came. So now fitting up the new skin fittings with the threaded tails on them and the ball valves and the, and the, uh, the spears off the end of those and starting to fit it together. Um, and so far so good. So it's a matter of just getting all these fittings lined up in the right orientation so that they work. Uh, I've got the right thread sealer on them, some lock seal on the, um, on the fittings, um, some adhesive silicon, white marine adhesive silicon sealant on the, uh, on the skin fittings. Um, it's a two man job to get them tightened up because you need someone on the outside to put um, a spanner in the end against the tongues in the skin fitting and then tighten against it. I've had to go and get a couple of high impact sockets and for later I've also gone and got myself a couple of um, uh, bigger uh, shifters than just the standard sort of shifting spanner that you'd have to um, to get some of these other fittings done up. But uh, so far so good, and uh, we'll fit up the toilet now and just see how we're going. I think we've got them twisted into the right position. I think I can mount the toilet now and start put, fitting things back together. Okay, I think I might be done. Just a bit of cleaning up to do. Come together pretty quickly in the end. So we've now got the, both the cocks in there, the new skin fittings ball valve on each side, new hoses, new silicon on the um, on the joints in the bottom of the, the motor here, 
a new valve, uh, non-return valve. And so now, all you have to do is test it out. This this hose seems a bit long. I might may trim that a bit shorter or put a bit bit of different hose on there so that's not kinked and stopping that stopping the water flowing through there. Um, other than that, I think we're done. Just a bit of tidy up to do, and clean up. But uh, big job. Not what I want to do all the time. But uh, for any of you other guys who've got a Caravan 2300, it's certainly possible.